thing here is that they're just going to be like trading these aerials back and forth. Like Nest Forward Air, obviously like super disjointed, and uh, Rob's Nair is really, really big, but it's going to be slow to start up. So the strategy, I think, for Andrew T is going to be like, not necessarily like challenge an air, but snuff it before it comes out. I don't know the full frame data on Ness's uh, downbeat. Ape Man is literally just... He's literally just beating him up in the face. Yeah, Ape Man just is killed he, a child. He is, he, I've never seen anybody get Rob jab, slash down tilted that much. He, uh, Ape Man in the grand finals of doubles to win doubles yesterday got a zero death on Lunik in uh, the, br the bracket reset. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. Rob Nair, huge, but like, Ness Aerials come out so much quicker. Outside of Fair. Fair is the one that's like gonna challenge everything. And that's what we saw. Most of his first stock was him just like tagging him in the face with Fair and then just like trapping his landing options. But my question is, I don't know the frame data on it, but the Ness, his down B, the Ooh. Absorb. Oh, no. Can he react to Rob's laser with that? He can't. Oh. <gasps> get him oh. out of here. Get him out of here. Medic. Oh. Someone call a medic for that man. He, like. get, get some aloe vera. He just got burned. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the counterplay is for that. So, yeah, offstage, there's so many things. Like, gyro and laser obviously can, like, wreck you, but then a straight-up down air can just do it, too. Oh, going high the PK Thunder. Counter, almost counterplay might be off. don't go offstage. I love using the bounce. Andrew T. Shona has still got a really big brain. Unfazed by the way that first stock went down. And the yo-yo coming out. He's going to air dodge through it. But Rob has the cover to make it back. Smart stuff by, by uh, a bit man there. He's really getting pressured by this uh, PK Thunder. He's at 179. And it's also just been one just grab, back down. One grab will kill at this point for sure. Oh, yeah. One anything. You'd be – F-Till kills right now. Like, I, I can't even think of a movie he has that, like, won't, like – certainly kill. But Ape Man making the absolute most of the stock right now. Oh, he's getting all his extra credit. Smart stuff, too, waiting for the roll in. Oh, okay, that back throw's gonna do it. He's at 63%. That's not terrible, but Ape Man is so good about pushing his advantage state. And he got jab blocked by the spinning gyro. I've never seen that happen before. It was just left there. I like to call that getting caught between a rob and a hard place. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright. Smart. Try to trap him with the up tilt. Andrew T knows that he's in a rough situation. His air dodges away. Ooh, what do you do about this? Went All for right. the blender. Just wait, wait. Really smart wait for Andrew T there. Doesn't know that. He, oh, that air dodge is so long. It's so good, yeah. There were a lot of situations where Andrew T could have died right there, but he was uh, really, really patient. He tried to uh, actually kill him super early when he went down there, but Ape Man is just really smart. Thrown down, up air. Okay. Ooh, really nice now he doesn't have an air dodge, dodge, so how do you get back? You are. Oh, oh, Ray. Ape Man misses yeah. the punish. D didn't go straight for the ledge, too. I think if he gone straight for the ledge, he might have gotten punished there. Went a little bit above it. I was able to through. avoid the down air. Andrew T really wants to get on something like a PK fire, like maybe even like a jab block. Just trying to get some kind of damage to just combat how big this lead is. I don't think man. I have seen any player the use spot smash? dodge more efficiently than Ape Man. Ape Man is spot dodging for his life right now. I mean, Rob's always had a really good spot dodge since like Brawl, basically. Like spot dodge, buffer down, smash was like his red yep. butter back then. It might, it's not necessarily still that now, but it's still good. <gasps> oh, wait, out of the spot dodge is a down air. Ape Man just hit Andrew T with every move that Rob has. All of them. What just happened? Like, this is ridiculous. This, this this is insanity. And he's doing a really good job of, like, respecting PK Fire, too. He's not even, like, letting it, you know, hit Gyro or anything else. He's just, like, shielding it and just punishing on a reaction. Back throw will still not kill. Rob's a bigger boy than you might think. That was such good Gyro placement. He and knew a he's gonna perfect be neutral air. What do you do? Yeah. Like, like, what what does Andrew T do in this matchup right now? Andrew, Ape Man is just fully outplaying this, this, this uh, Andrew T right now. And up, the F up smash, gonna nice. Clip with the up smash, and there we go. A two stock from 8 bit man. Yeah, that was commanding knowledge of that matchup. I'll say this: Ape bit man shook his head a little bit. He might actually be a little unhappy with how he played there. Is he? I don't know. He shook his head a little bit. I'm not sure. Because we can trade spaces. Because uh, I think he played great. Yeah. Well, no, I agree. I think he played great. But I love when players, even when they play great, they're like, "Hey, I probably should have done this better or that better." Yeah. That is how you avoid complacency. I kind of do that too a little bit. Like, rarely do I play well enough where I'm like, ha ha, dab on him. You know, I'm always just like, ha ha. You know who just got a dab on a moment with Oreo? That last set. God, oh. I, listen, I can't wait for the highlights for that because that was hilarious. That's, I, that's I hope people clip that. I just want to see that those first two stocks in about 15 seconds. You, you can, you can put that. them in the same. You can, you, put you them can, same you can gift yeah. that for sure. You can definitely do it. All right, game two, we're going to go to town. Um, Andrew, Andrew T, with them giant earbuds, is sticking right out. Taking his time, too, deciding on that second stage because it's just like, you kind of want to shake the momentum off of that because it just it looked like he was just completely out of options. Like, I don't know what the answer was. Once 8-Bit Man was just, like, playing as well as he was, like, his spacing was perfect. His maybe edge guards were perfect. get on him more. He wasn't in Rob's face quite as much as he maybe could have been, but that's not Ness's game plan, right? Ness's game plan is not, I want to be in your face. Right, not necessarily. Not until he sees, like, a big confirm, like, PK Fire or a jab So lock. if this game goes like last game went, maybe his game plan is pick a new character. I don't know. I don't know. 
All right, here's a nice combo coming from Andrew T, of course. Ooh, all, th all three forward airs. So here's what I like about the way Andrew T does that chain. Um, a lot of Nessels will go for the fair and then do the double jump and get two more fairs. He lands on the ground to retain his jump, keep the momentum moving forward with fair, and then he also leaves himself open to like still use side mag and everything else. Does Ness have an out of shield option fast enough to fight that down tilt? Because he just took like eight down tilts on shield and did nothing, just sat there. Maybe Nair. Said, All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's one of those things where, like, if you risk going for Nair and get hit out of your jump, that's like not a fun position to be in either. Yeah, I mean, in this matchup, you're probably dead. Oh. With how good Ape Man is an edge guard aim. This is gonna be rough. And oh, Ape oh. Man missed it. All right. Andrew he's doing a really good job of uh, getting back to stage after that first stock of the last game. Well, he definitely learned his lesson. That he needs to be like, I shouldn't say learned his lesson, but like, he's very, very aware about like how carefully he needs to come back now. Oh, no, I don't think that was a grab opportunity, but Andrew G hesitated a little bit. You know, for how light uh, Ness is and how exploitable his recovery is, 169% is great for him. This is, this is a rough spot. That's a, that got, yeah. him, got him at the top. Not only was that a really smart edge guard from 8 Man, it was all projectiles, too. So there was pretty much just, it was just so safe to just try it. Oh These PK Thunders goodness. are doing a lot of work, though. Well, as we saw in the previous game, he got tagged with like five or six of those who trying to land down. So I think Andrew T's game plan maybe maybe just needs to just try to like force him to stay in the air longer. But Ape Man is just rushing him down so hard. Almost got that forward air. Probably would have killed. I thought the side view was going to come out, too. Back here, kills at 126%. Andrew T can bring this back, right? A, a good nest combo to a nice edge guard, but... Oh, of course, but, you know, it's, it's hard to do on a, on a player of this caliber. Rob is just the control mate of this game. He can put the top down wherever he wants, and you just can't go there. That is not your space anymore. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, nice. Using the side magnets to, like, mix them up, especially a, a B-reverse on it. Oh, it was oh. a really, really smart parry. Oh, so the top just disappears and you parry it. Interesting. Yeah, it just goes away. That's what I was worried about before was him, like, setting the top on fire. But then Ape Man was like, oh, I've been here before. Just actually just ignored it and just outspaced him with Nair, even from behind the firewall. Oh, and the oh. dare again. Yep. Read that air dodge. I, Ape Man looks like he got this matchup on lock. He it knows what he is doing against Ness. And that's another thing. So even right there when he parried the Nair, and once he gets that low to the ground, it's just going to auto cancel. There's no like real good punish you get out of it. And as you pointed out earlier, his out of shield options are a little bit lacking. Oh, geez. What do you do? Oh, he's got no air dodge either. He's done. All right. I think, oh. I believe. All right, Andrew T, what you got? Can you come back from this? This down tilt is so this is, oppressive. That's it? That's it? No, nope, he's got yeah, more no, chance. Oh. oh, Andrew T down 2-0. Got two stocks, both games, I believe, so far. What I love about the pressure we saw from 8-Bit Man, like, not only was it, like, really strong and impressive, but every time he would be off the mark and he would get close to the stage, down tilt not only reset the situation, but it put him at an angle that was really hard to recover from. What do you think 8-Bit Man is listening to right now? What do you think he's jamming? A little Yeezy? 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 A little, a little chance. Oh, Euro dance. Some Euro dance. Euro dance? Well, like, like the uh, the initial D. Uh, deja vu. Like one of those right there. To be fair, deja vu is a bop. No, deja um, vu will always be a bop. It's a bop. It might be deja vu. Oh, so we are seeing a character switch. Yep, now he's going to uh, Zero Suit Samus. Zero Suit. This is a pretty good idea, too. She, um, can, she can combo Rob to death, but, I mean, I don't know how a, like proficient he is in this matchup. Well, one thing we can definitely see is like a lot of like narrative flip kick that could be huge for Rob because he likes to like kind of camp and hang out around the ledge area. So I can definitely see that coming into play later. But I think the neutral is going to be a little bit more in her favor because she can also start to like outspace him with like side B. And if she's really careful, like Nair and Ferris, but Ape Man is just playing Zero man suit, on fire. Zero Suit might be the character who we were wrongest about when the game first came out. I agree. I 100% I agree. Everyone thought she was trash. Nairo was like, I don't want to play her anymore. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, you see Mars getting, like, top eight at all these events, winning events with zero suit. Oh, yeah. There it is. Narrative flip kick. Oh, didn't, didn't get, get spike, the spike, though. though. That spike is so sick. The thing that's a big problem, though, is, like, once Rob gets out of the percents where narrative flip kick is true, uh, he can kind of live for a while. Either way, this is a much closer game than the first two have been. Nice. Outspacing her with that Nair. Chasing down with the laser, too. Ape Man is doing a really, really good job of just, like, taking the stage away from her in every angle he possibly can. Yep, gonna be safe. Just kind of try to shark with that up air. Yeah, good and spot then dodge. Immediately. Andrew T says, "You got spot dodges. I got spot dodges too." Oh yeah. Yep, love that conversion. I like the attempt there to kind of bait him into thinking he's gonna go to the ledge, and go for the nair, but Andrew T was just ready, so he's actually gonna get the first the lead for the first time he's had. Yeah, his first stock lead so far this whole set. Ooh, in oh, the parry on the nair. Punish. That's how he does get the punish. Hit. He was a little bit higher up in the air that time. But that's something that Ness can't do. No nothing Ness has comes out quite fast enough, I think, to beat out that down tilt from Rob. Yeah, not from Shield, no. Gyro coming through again. So this is, might this be a much better matchup for Zero Suit. 
I love that option. Had the gyro at the ledge, knew he was going to flip kick high, and had the neutral air ready. Man, it caught the top. So smart. Caught the top two. Yes. And then dropped it, but it's fine. Oh, he threw it. I like that. You're trying to set her up for the gyro. You get know, that, I, get that out of the, that uh, down tilt lock. Yeah, I was just going to say, I saw that down tilt lock, to, down tilt slash jab lock a lot on Twitter, but I haven't seen it happen live yet. I'm not sure if maybe there's like some secret where it watch, doesn't work. Watch those grand finals from yesterday at doubles. Uh, he got he it lock? on lock on Lunik. A, okay. a full zero death on Lunik Jeez. to win the set. Well, that's good to know. I'll definitely uh, go back and check those box. Oh, the flip kick actually nope. came out before the dare did. Oh, this could be a ladder. Yeah, that, that's going to not quite. No, Rob a little too heavy for that. Yeah, also really good DI from Ape Man, too. Went very, very far to the left. Didn't want to take the chance of going off, you know, high there. Oh, barely missed on that second up air. That would have been potentially a kill there. Oh, another up smash out okay. off. Again, so he's really smart about, like, just looking like he's going to go to the ledge and just trying to, like, force somebody to go for a ledge guard option and not actually, like, eating it. One of uh, Zero Suit Samus' problems with the matchup is she kind of gets Marth right this a little bit, where once Rob gets to high percent where her confirms won't work, she has a really hard time killing. Because none, yeah, yeah. none of her confirms work. And you just kind of got to get a read on a hard hit. Oh, that laser is going to spell disaster for Andrew yeah, T. Yeah, that's He's it. He's in the middle of snapping back to a ledge with a side B, and that just entered an angle that she just really can't make it back from. And just like that, Ape Man has the lead again. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. Andrew T is starting splat. to catch on to uh, Ape Man. How, does, how does a robot splat? How does a <laughs> Shouldn't it be like a clunk sound? You know what? I actually don't know. It was like, kind of like a wet sounding sound, too. I don't really know. Yeah, it's like a splat. But it should be more of like a clunk. Yeah, this definitely seems like the move character-wise. Game three is totally even, only 10% different between these two players. Yeah, Andrew T, like, uh, we've seen a lot of people character switching so far today, and I love it. Yeah, I didn't know. When even, it works out, like, it's cool. I actually didn't know we had a secondary, because I've only seen him ever go nest, but now we know. Back throw. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice neutral air there. Yeah, he knows that up air at the mid percent could have led to the ladder again, especially on a stage like PS2 where the platforms are so, so gracious to set that up for you. Oh, drops the top, catches it again, and throws it immediately. Great mix up there for. Whoa, the damn. <laughs> that gonna do. Whoa! Not, no, not quite gonna do it. 8 bit man living. 8 bit man hanging on by the skin of his teeth. I definitely thought that dare to back air was gonna, gonna seal things for Andrew T. And Andrew T did too. Now we are totally even again. Hanging a out on shield above Zero Suit Samus is such yeah. a scary idea. Ape Man has to be so careful because if anything, you know, an up eclipse, that will probably kill. Yeah, or even another down smash. She's been getting a lot of down smash reads. Again, the gyro pressure. Oh, oh no. Oh, where are we going, girl? Okay, okay. Oh, Makes it back. He living, he living. Everybody got, we, everybody got lost. We I. GPS just had to recalibrate for a second. She he, he walked into the top twice. Oh, that's a punish. That? Yup. Oh no, a 3-0 for 8-Bit Man. Yeah, great effort from uh, from Andrew T. But 8-Bit Man kept his composure. Yeah, good stuff there. And he had really good DI. There were some situations where like, I thought that up B might kill or even that uh, back air after the uh, surprise dare. But 8-Bit Man's DI has been fantastic. All right, I am hopping off the mic. Wood will be joining you here. Thank you so much. See you all soon. Yep, I'm not hopping off the mic. I'm just getting up to move out the way. And now the camera can see more of my outfit. Anyway.